What superpower would you want to have in real life, and how would you use it on a day-to-day -day basis? I would like to be able to shit out my fingertips. <laughs> because no one would fuck with you. I'm here at Comic-Con for a sociological study into the world of cosplay. This is strictly for research purposes only, so please be sure to keep your hands above the desk at all times. Shalom, hi. My, my spidey senses were tingling in your general direction, so hi. Excuse me. Are you, are you Cinderella? No, I am Kiki. Kiki? Can I take a picture room with you? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay guys, um, I live in every nerd's fantasy right now. I got two Spider-Mans. What are you? Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls. You're gonna zoom close up on my nipples. I want them to see how pronounced they are. Who are you cosplaying as right now? I am a version of Poison Ivy that mm -hmm. I've dubbed Glitter Bomb Ivy. So why is it Glitter Bomb Ivy? I leave glitter everywhere I go. Oh my god, it's like a trail. You're like magical. Pretty much. Do you levitate or float or no? No, I'm working on that. Though. Okay, yeah. It takes a while to develop that skill. Which superhero would you date and why? I kind of have to go Batman. He's got lots of gadgets and stuff. <laughs> you think he could tie you up with all those gadgets? He better. <laughs> um, probably Iron Man. He's really rich and I feel like he'd be busy. <laughs> so I'd just be like sitting around the house, like watching Dr. Phil in my PJs. I thought you were gonna say that he stays hard, like forever. <laughs> yeah. I'd say Red Mist from Kick-Ass series. Cause you can kick, it at, kick his ass and take his money. 100%. It's like G Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But like IRL. I'm more into like anime characters. Mm -hmm. So. So you like Japanese guys? Part of me wants to say Batman. Mm. But if it's the Jason Momoa Aquaman, that would be my first choice. Spider-Man. But why? Because Spider-Man's like the awkward, sarcastic, cool dude. And like everybody else is like, I'm so macho and like my dick is like eight inches long. <laughs> and he's so fun. He's like, nah, cool. You know, like he'd be like the kind of person that you'd be like, I don't need a romantic dinner. We can go play video games and drink beer in our underwear. And that's the perfect kind of date. I like how some people put in like thousands of dollars, months of their life into making something like this, and then other people just wear like a few like things they're like, oh, that's cool enough. Okay, do it. Fucking cosplay shit ain't no joke. Cosplay girl's about to get cosbied, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Which female superhero would you fool around with and why? Maybe not even superhero if you want to do character, maybe an anime character. Or whatever. Oh, no, no, no. No, no fuck anime, guys. You heard it here first. <laughs> fuck anime. Don't fuck take my anyone words. who's into anime. This girl, she hates anime. If no. you do anime, she will no. shoot you. She will take out her gun not and kill word. you. Black Widow. Is she just like one of the hottest? Or? So hot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love Black Widow, she's really cool. Black Widow, where you at? Black Widow! <laughs> Can I say, like, Scarlett Johansson Black Widow? She's so hot. Please. Scarlett Johansson, hit her up. Instagram's in the link below. I love Scarlett Johansson, so I might have to say Black Widow. Oh my god. Would you lick her butt? Yeah. What kind of YouTube channel is this? This is uh, a male <laughs> dating channel, actually. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Poison Ivy. She's hot. She's very hot. She has that like kiss, I know. flirty kiss. Yeah, she, she'd get you anyway, no matter what, even yeah. if you wanted it or not. Wonder Woman's got a rockin' bod. Rockin'. Um, she must hit the gym for like two hours a day. Oh, constant. Yeah, you never see her though. And she grew up on an island full of women, so she's got some tricks up her sleeve. Yeah, <laughs> you know, she's got the knowledge. Wonder Woman or Supergirl are the two women that I really, really love, mm -hmm. and I have a lot of like, Hopes that one day Black Canary will find them her way into that show. Mm -hmm. Past dimensions. Hey, Totoro. What up, Totoro? High five, bro. How you doing, bro? What's good? We're from the same family. Go!
In your experience, nerds or civilians, who's better nerds. in bed? Yeah? Yeah. And why do you think that is? Let's try hotter. They feel they think that <laughs> they're like so focused mm -hmm. on getting the other person off that they like yeah. They're really they're so they're more pleasers than yeah, takers. Exactly, and that's something. And you're more of a taker. I, I take everything. <laughs> you ever seen Rick and Morty? No, but I know Notorious B.I.G. and you remind me of him. Time. What would you say your best top excuses are to get out? Uh, I have gonorrhea and it's acting up. <laughs> what about this character speaks to you? She's uh, two things. She's bisexual. And okay. Does dressing up as a, uh, a character make you feel more adventurous and spontaneous? I feel like it, and probably because I, when I did it, I wouldn't normally show my nipples in public, but after doing Ryoko and the tape didn't work, I kind of just gave up. How many men have looked you in the eyes today? Not as many as I'd hoped. <laughs> what goes through your head when guys approach you at events like this. Everyone's been really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't say. I've, I mean... No no groping? Random groping? Not this year. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not, you're like looking forward to it. You're like, at least one. No, no, no. It'll make it more memorable. How would you prefer to be approached at Comic-Con? Guy comes up to you. Let's say, let's say there's no boyfriend or whatever. Okay. Or let's say, how did he come up to you? Or was it like a slow romance uh, no, no, that blossomed? We, no, we met we met at a we met at a nightclub actually. Yeah. Which is something that He I, seems like a gangster. He's so gangster. He's like, he's hey yo. No, hey, yo, no, 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 no. I like we, those ears. <laughs> no, so I like if so if people were to come approach me and stuff, I like having mutual interests or I yeah. like I like it being very natural. I don't mm. want someone coming up to me and being like, hey, girl, you look so hot. Like, can I get your number? I don't like that. Um we met through Too much we, pressure, right? It's, we, it's weird. It's a yeah. weird start to any sort of relationship. I, I like what you said about the um, the uh, puts too much pressure or whatever. It's like a weird way to start a it, conversation. It is. Think about if you were in a room with, with this person for like three hours, would you say, hey, yo, what up, girl? Let me get them digits. Yeah, that's a very weird way to go about it. You'd be it, like, oh, hey, hi. I like your like, costume. Like, yeah. oh, you're into that character. I'm exactly. into this. Da -da -da. Yeah. It's Find some similarities. It's really, cool. really good. Mm -hmm. um, so you have mutual stuff to talk about. Here, get on my back real quick. Ah. <laughs> Attack him. <laughs> <laughs> Who else should we talk to? Uh, Ooh, I think all is my friends out. have left. You're the last one? I think so. Well, my friend went to- Come here. <laughs> I'm gonna take advantage of you. You're all alone. Cosplay is not consent. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even mean? Basically, like, when it, whenever a lot of people are in, like, very skimpy cosplay, people mm. think that they can come up to you and touch oh. you and, like... Dude, I've had that a lot, let me tell you. I, yeah. The amount of men that have grabbed my package in the past hour is just I mean, you got some nice titties, charts. so, like... Just fucking do it. I, I give consent. How do you feel after being groped? Um, I feel ashamed, but partially turned on. Okay. All right. Question your sexuality now. <laughs> How do you feel groping? All right. I think this interview's gone on long enough. But on, on the reel though, let's, let's turn away, okay, turn away yeah. from the camera. Do you have a telephone number that you can be reached at? 647. 647. 416. 416. Oh my god. We actually, we need to evacuate. We need to save the planet. What? We need to save the planet. We don't have time. Juan, save yourself. Let's go to Cuba right now. <laughs> Por qué? <laughs> oh my god. If you're not gaming, you're dying. 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 Hey guys, hope you liked the vid. My name is Austin Summers and I'm an international dating coach and relationships expert. 
I've taught hundreds of men in person in four continents now, and I've reached millions online with my videos since 2014. I basically focus on the habits, beliefs, and actions to get you success with women, regardless of your starting point. So with this video, I wanted to show you that you can meet girls as part of your daily life, whether it's at a coffee shop, at a grocery store, or maybe even a festival with hot Comic-Con girls. This can be a part of who you are in your daily life. To my subscribers, I love you guys. Thank you for being a part of the notification squad. If you're not subscribed, make sure to tap that red button that says subscribe to get it to turn to gray. It's an interesting little trick and you'll get more content like this and other dating advice in the future. And if you don't, you got to ask yourself, do you even game, bro? Pray to the booty.